I think one of the, the things that this trip reminded me of, because we had originally had planned to go to Pennsylvania and we had to stay in, uh, in Canada because of the weather, was that how actually beautiful Ontario is. You get used to it just being so ugly, you know, when you're in the cities, but it really is a beautiful place. This is your first fall tour, so what have you thought about the, the experience? I know, I know we're going a little more quickly than you would normally ride, you're saying. It's uh, challenging. You know, getting used to the new bikes and the pace has been, uh, you know, um, you know, taking a little bit of getting used to, but I've enjoyed it quite a bit. So, uh, just a different kind of touring, right? Different objective. So. so you're saying traveling with us is different than traveling with your wife? Yes, on many levels. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, what do you think of the VFR? Uh, have, have you come to terms with it? Because I know you were struggling yesterday a little bit with it. It's not really working for me. Um, what specifically are you struggling with? I just find it's a lot of bulk. Like, even with this big hump, it's like you're, you're riding a Brahma bull or something, right? It's this big mass, and leaning it over uh, in any sequence of turns uh, becomes very tiring, I think. You like the power, the engine? Engine's great. Uh, this this bike works very well at uh, 140 kilometers an hour plus. Not that I've ever gone that fast, but um, yeah. I know because we have to keep waiting for you. So, so yes, yeah, exactly. So you're obviously not going. That I was fast, trying to conform it? to legal standards here. But that's the pro that's the problem. Yeah, so. that's the problem. This is Honda's big hope for sport touring bikes, but you you don't feel that they've got it. If an engineer from Honda was going to ask me my opinion, I'd say raise the bars, lower the pegs more comfortable seat and find a way to reduce the mass because it's just a big, heavy truck of a motorcycle. I love this bike. I love the smoothness of the motor and it's got great roll on power and nice, it's very flat power band so it doesn't really have a top end rush but it's strong everywhere. How was it when you were riding that aggressively? It's pretty, uh, pretty good. I found. Did it wallow or was it? No, it, uh, it was uh, pretty steady. I love it. Love, love, love it. Powerful, sure-footed. Uh, great view of the road, I love the wide handlebars. You seem more comfortable on this bike than, than you did yesterday on the on the Honda? Completely, yeah, yeah. So what do you think of the Triumph? I like the Triumph. It handles uh, really almost like a sport bike. It could use a little bit more horsepower, I think. A little bit more torque, maybe. Is, is that coming off the Kawasaki, do you think? That's coming the problem, off, is it so Coming powerful? off the, uh, the 1400 Concourse, yeah. It feels like the Triumph could use a little bit more power, but on its own, it's uh, more than adequate. Um, it goes like stink when you hold the throttle open, and uh, the brakes are great. I like the riding position when you're moving quickly. There's a bit of a forward lean that uh, works well with the breeze. Is, is it more of a forward lean than the Kawasaki? Yes, it is. Um, I think uh, it's about similar to a VFR, I guess. Do you like the, the raggedness of the three-cylinder engine? Does it have more character than the Kawasaki's four, do you think? It feels a bit rough, kind of raspy, uh, which is very pleasant. So yes, I do like that. And you think this is too to an aggressive riding position for a long, long trip? I wouldn't hesitate to take this across the country, but it, uh, it certainly would be more comfortable on a trip like that if the bars were a couple of uh, centimeters higher. It was interesting to get your feedback about the VFR, because the VFR has sort of been, not been accepted as well, I think, as Honda would have, would have hoped. 
But there's a lot of things I really like about it. On that really twisty bit yesterday when I really, you know, whipped it up for a while. Um, I mean, it was a great bike, great feedback. I mean, the one thing that I'm, I'm finding with these bikes is that it's like the Kawasaki and the, and the Triumph, and even the Honda to some degree, you know, it's the, it's the classic sport touring, you know, what we think of as a sport touring motorcycle. But I think I think the one thing I've realized in recent years is I, I think the monster trailie is just a better way to approach mm. sitting on a motorcycle for a long time. Um, you know, who'd have thought that the dirt bike would be ultimately the best basis, you know, for a, a sport touring bike. But I just find that big bar and your feet right down. Yeah. You know, the Ducati kinks the knees less than any other bike. And it's just I can sit on it longer. And with the seating position and, and the adjustable suspension, I mean, it... It, it can do more things and is is it's kind of an easier bike to ride i find i think any touring you do in ontario also you're going to be coming up with less than ideal pavement you're going to be meeting up with construction zones you know when we went to elephant lake road we hit like a fairly significant amount of loose gravel mm -hmm. uh, it just i think gives you more ability to cope with varying terrain which extends your touring options 